the cliffs of uh, Amethyst Mountain and Specimen Ridge are pretty cool. And I've spent probably more time than I really should have fussing and tweaking with them and trying to get them as close as I can to how they look in reality. But now that I've got those in pretty good shape, it's time to actually get them working well with the animals, which is another technical challenge that turned out to be a little trickier than we expected. So here we go testing uh, how the wolf behaves around rocks. First checking out uh, how does it behave around the rock as, a, as an obstacle. Uh, whoops, well, not a real good obstacle when you can go inside it. I am one with the rock. Now how do we get out of the rock? Oh, there, I'm out of the rock. Oh, really, out of the rock. Um, that's a good grip, you know. That's a real, those are, those are good, those are good claws on that, on that wolf. Um, at some point, you know, gonna let go. So what's going on with this? Let's see. Um, okay, there we go. I think, I think this might be because of an extra collider um, in the rock that was getting activated by mistake. Okay, another tweak. Let's try this again. Bang. Okay, banging your head against the rock. Oh, that's more like it. That's solid rock. Well, not entirely. Dang it. Yep, there we go. Out on top. Came out on top this time. Not sure how. All right, so there's some issues with the colliders here, and they're labeled on different uh, layers in Unity, which is affecting how uh, the wolf treats them, if they're obstacles or things you can walk on or things you can go inside of. Um, so some, it's mostly working here. Um, can't get in now. Okay, so maybe maybe that the tweak to that, that collider fixed it. Bang in your head against the rock. You'll notice we added a little sliding action here on steep slopes. Um, if it's above a certain uh, grade, you can't get a grip and you just slide down till it's not quite so steep. Still a little rough here, uh, uh, got some uh, refinement to do on that. But it'll make these cliffs more uh, of an obstacle like they really are. Okay, let's go uh, try the top surface of the rock now, see how that's working. And, uh, well, not so great. Um, getting some confusion about where the surface of the rock is. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where it, uh, Oh, you know, I've had days like that. Can't keep you, it's bad enough to not be able to keep your head above water, but if you can't keep your head above rock, you know. We just have several systems that aren't uh, gelling well here, working together, the, the rock meshes and colliders and uh, the rules on how the wolf behaves in response to those, and then the IK system, the inverse kinematics, which controls um, how the dynamic placement of the four paws of the wolf on different surfaces, on different slopes, different angles, Let's go try another rock. Maybe it'll work better. Maybe it's just that one rock. There, okay, that, yeah, that's much better. Oh, hmm, well, maybe not. Just tricky stuff. You know, actually, uh, one of our Unity developers, Nick, knows a bunch of guys in the AAA game industry, and he talked to a guy with 20 years experience, started off doing, uh, writing his own IK systems, um, seeing if he might be able to help us, and he said, ew, quadruped IK. So it's not just us, this is, this is a tough, a tough problem to solve. Okay, now looking at the sliding action, uh, I want to add some dust um, that get kicked up under your feet as you slide down the, the cliff face. Andre's hooked up this functionality, and so I'm just fussing with the particle effect to try to get um, get it to look just right. Start kicking up as soon as you start sliding, billow out a little bit, not too thick, not too thin, and. Um, well, we'll just fast forward through a lot of trial and error, tweaking, experimenting with different settings to get just the right effect. Um, and here we go. I think this is just about right. So uh, you go up the slopes, you go up the cliff, uh, hit the steep par, you slide down, get some dust kicked up there. Just a nice effect. And you know, this, this sliding action is really more fun than I expected it to be. <laughs> it's kind of, it's frustrating because you want to just get up the cliff, but it's also kind of fun, you know, maybe um, some people go around and look for the longest uh, section of, of a steep cliff that they can slide down without without going off ledge somewhere and, and, uh, and plummeting down. And so here we are up on one of the cliffs, having spent the whole day fussing with this stuff, and uh, sun's going down, so we've got this fine view over the Lamar Valley. Although the river is flickering a little bit, that's a shader issue we have to deal with. And I know what you're all thinking, what happens if I jump? Well, should we try it? Oh, Geronimo! 
boom. Hey, hey, we survived. We made it. Look at that. Oh, a little sliding action. That was a good jump. We took, oh, we took a lot of damage. Um, but we survived. So you can survive jumps. But kids, don't try this at home, please. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, should we do it again? Gotta get up this dang cliff. Okay, here we are. Ready, Geronimo! And there, oh, oh, oh. We died, oh wait, no, look at that. We're dead, but the tail keeps on twitching. Look at that, you know, the tail never say die. So we'll fix that before we release Wolf Quest 3, coming soon.